Hey and welcome back to the revolution and some more WWE 2K20 news as earlier today 2K unveiled a bunch of new information regarding this year's online system. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K20 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website revolution.com where you'll find a breakdown of all of today's news and so much more. Over the last few years, the WWE Universe have been pretty vocal about the online mods and it's no secret that the mod itself can be somewhat temperamental at times. Thankfully, it looks as though 2K have put in some serious effort to rectify those previous mistakes this year with a whole bunch of updates and returning features. First up, we have the return of online lobbies which have been highly requested for quite some time now with 2K having the following to say. The highly requested online lobby system is back in WWE 2K20. Lobbies will streamline the process of pairing up players and getting them into matches as quick as possible. If you have an exact online multiplayer match in mind, creating a lobby is the way to go. Select from a wide variety of match types and rules with up to 6 players. Choose the arena, superstar gender and even toggle the restriction to allow any default WWE superstars aka fair play. You can start out in a private mode to invite friends and then open the remaining slots to the general public if you prefer. Once in a lobby together, everyone can voice chat as they select superstars and the lobby creator makes decisions on the match at hand. Players will now have full visibility on how the match is coming together. If you're less picky about what kind of match you want to play, you can browse currently available lobbies that only need one or two more participants and jump right in. Or use the search feature to fill by preference. Even easier, select quick play to be slotted into ready to go matches automatically. Now I'm going to sound like a massive nerd, but I have to say I for one am really excited to jump back into online lobbies as back in the day during Smackdown vs Raw, online lobbies were one of my absolute favourite things to do and I actually ended up making quite a lot of friends because of it. Being able to customise your online experience will give fans a chance to connect with those who have a similar mind and enjoy some good old fashioned wrestling. While it may not seem like a huge thing for most, being able to hop in a specific match type lobby is so much easier and having the ability to tailor your requirements just helps cut the fat and get down to what type of match you want to play. As we move away from lobbies, Tunka also had some information regarding my play for online with some much needed updates. As previously announced, both male and female my players are part of my career. This extends to Road to Glory and my player tiles as well. You can create both male and female my players with different styles. One can be a brawler and the other a high flyer, for example. Experience pools, progression trees, and creation power unlocks. This consistent pair can level up and unlock items throughout all three of these modes. For the first time ever, any special creation parts you unlock through playing My Career, Road to Glory and My Player Towers are also available in the general Create Superstar mode. On top of that, you can export the appearance of your My Player out to the general character creation as well. Road to Glory and My Player Tower fans will be familiar with the process of earning stars to enter special pay-per-view events. These Road to Glory events now include female matches for the first time in addition to the male Superstar matches. Now this is the update that so many of us wanted to see. For the last few years I've been pretty vocal both publicly and behind closed doors about the lack of female elements both on and offline. So to see Road to Glory finally get some love for us women's wrestling fans is so seriously awesome. <laughs> While you could argue that I can easily play as a female in exhibition, I want the option to do everything I can playing as the women, just like everyone else can with the men. Having this more balanced approach will probably make me more open to playing as more of the male superstars to complete the rest of the challenges unlike previous incarnations of Road to Glory over the last few years. Not only that, but the fact that we have unlockable superstar parts that can be used outside of my play for both male and female superstars is something that will draw me in on the daily just to make sure I qualify for each and every single reward. I can only hope that we receive some seriously badass parts similar to that of the wolf's head as seen in the original pay-per-view unlocks. Speaking of challenges and daily rewards, 2 here had the following to say. The new tonight's match feature in multiplayer places you in a new match every day that rotates throughout match types, rules, genders and arenas to make it simple to constantly try something new. The Road to Glory featured match of the day is similar to tonight's match, but also includes a potential triple threat 
fatal four-way in six men or women matches. These will regularly toggle back and forth between male and female matches so both of your my players will get their regular rotation. Tonight's match, Road to Glory featured matches and daily my player tower challenges will all incorporate elements from the new WWE 2K20 2K Originals post launch downloadable content, whether you've purchased them or not. For example, once the first package WWE 2K20 Originals Bump in the Night releases, you may see matches taking place in the White Swamp Arena or Cemetery Brawl Arena. Or you might face Frank and Strowman one day in a My Player Tower Daily Challenge. You never know what kind of 2K Originals content might show up in any given day for all players with online multiplayer access to enjoy. Now I know a few of you might be thinking, what is the point of buying the Originals content if I can just experience some of it online for free? Well, think of it as a teaser. Frank and Strowman might have a seriously cool entrance or a moveset that you haven't seen yet. Then you come to face them and think, Actually, maybe I do want a piece of that action for myself. Recently, I discussed a few things 2K have learned from Crash Team Racing, and CTR developers Beanox actually implemented quite a similar technique for purchasable skins, cards, and decals. During a local race, the game randomizes in a bunch of items and characters you have yet to unlock, acting as an almost live action teaser, making you want to cash in your one coins at the earliest opportunity possible. Sometimes a picture or graphic doesn't do a reward justice, but then you see this seriously awesome cartoon pass and you just have to have it. This kind of method also allows fans to skip a DLC pack if they aren't interested in its theming, with the chance of these online experiences maybe converting them to purchase down the line should they choose. As far as the menu design shown off in these screenshots, I can't say that I'm 100% sold, but having had these in my possession for quite a while now, the colour palette and simplicity has grown on me and I actually think it reminds me a lot of 2K18. So that's our little breakdown of today's WWE 2K20 news regarding online features and what it could possibly mean for the women in this year's game. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like or a comment below as it really does help. Don't forget, you can also head on over to our official website, revolution.com, where we'll be putting an official rundown of all of today's news and so much more. As always, I've been The Revolution and I hope you have a wonderful day.